live from Portsmouth. Shock and Awe presents three three minute rounds for the amateur mixed martial arts strawweight championship. Introducing first in the blue corner, undefeated at two wins, weighing in a 114 pounds. Representing Impact from Bristol, Chloe Gowan! Your opponents in the red corner with a record of four wins and one defeat. Weighing in at 114.7 pounds, representing impact from Salisbury, Suzanne Sushi Wilson. Chuck and all, 34, Susan Wilson from Impact MMA in the red corner. Her opponent, Chloe Gowan from Impact MMA in the blue. Yeah, I saw that. I'm, I'm wondering if they're from two different uh, cities with Impact MMA, but yeah. Oh, there's an error on the, uh, the sheet. <laughs> uh, well, they're both wearing the, the gear, so I don't know. Yeah, you're right.
Wilson with the more experience, 4-1-0. Chloe, 2-0. So no defeats yet for Chloe. Yeah, I mean, Wilson, every time I've seen her, she, she's really impressed me. Um, you know, she's got such a relaxed demeanor and very technical as well. It's always interesting to see the dynamic of two, potentially two athletes from the same gym fighting. Did they train together? They almost certainly have sparred together previously. You would have thought so, yeah. So far, Gowan on the outside, utilizing some nice forward pressure, using the head as well as a separation. Yeah, she, yeah, she looks, Gowan looks really, really powerful. Really strong. Wilson looking for a home for that jab here. She's pouring it out to gauge the distance. Gowan catches the leg, drives up against the cage. Good defense from Wilson. Keep the action busy here, referee looking on. Going driving from that outside position. Gonna start to chase the legs if she wants to maintain this outside position here. Double underhooks are gonna be her friend as well. If she drops down, she's gonna get her head and her hips down. She has the opponents now, she can clasp her hand to attack the single leg. Switches to the double. Yeah, this is why uh, Wilson did a good job of splitting her legs, keeping keeping nice and wide, making it difficult, not giving anything away. Nice leg catch. Also making the adjustment there to hop back to the cage for a bit of facial assistance. Ten seconds left here. In the first round. Well, outside position being commanded there by Gowan for the majority of that fight when it was up against the cage. Wilson had some success in striking in the break, but gave up that outside position to her, her adversary from the blue corner. Yeah, it looks like Gowan's looking to grind away at Wilson and try and get her up against the cage, look for the takedowns if she can get them. But good defense from Wilson as well. Really well-matched fight. I mean, this is for the title, right? So both fighters are going to bring it. Yeah, shock and awe. Strawweight championship on the line. Two athletes from Impact MMA. Wilson ranked 21 in the UK and Ireland of active straw weights. Oh, Ooh, what a shot. Clean right hand, top position now for Wilson. You've got to think she, she would try and separate here and get this back to the feet. Just be careful of the triangle. Yeah. She doesn't want to hang out there. Leg legs there from Wilson. Somebody's cut. Also looking for the back here. Both oh, hooks in. Beautiful. It's a great job of underhooking both of the arms as well to prevent her falling off the back. Look to flatten her out here now. Yeah, Dean, that's what. I was going to mention, you know, to stop this, even with the hooks in, to stop yourself being thrown off the top, you need to get under the armpits. 
and then go to the side, just like Wilson's done. You can work better from this position. Of course, if you can flatten somebody out, flatten their belly, then that can be the worst position for a back take. But, but here, there's a little bit more mobility, a little bit more movement. Wilson looking for the choke, utilizes some strikes. Still has the dominant back control, both hooks in for Wilson. Gallon looking to put some pressure through the ankles here. Not sure how bad that is. There's a lot of blood there, but it looks like it might be Wilson's right eye, from what I can see. And there is a lot of blood there. I'm not sure where it is on the eye, but some damage for sure. Great back control, utilizing the hooks here, following the angle, keeping the hips square. Yeah, you can see there the damage to the right eye. It's still bleeding as well. The referee will keep an eye on that. If it goes into the eye and affects the vision, it could cause an issue. <laughs> was that a double, was that a Mongolian chop? A double punch. <laughs> the old Sakuraba style. Wilson trying to stay on the back here. Gowan trying to shake her off. She could reach up and grab the head and pull down on the head of Wilson as well for added leverage. She can also try and excommunicate one of those hooks in. She kicks her leg back and vacates one hook. Wilson's more likely to slide off the back. Nice shakes from Gowan. Yeah, Gowan, she can free up her arms a little bit. I mean, I don't think she's got the time now, but... Yeah, good control. Uh, and now I guess we get to we get to have a look at see how bad this cut is. It's still bleeding. Cup team getting to work on it instantly. They look to apply some Vaseline there. Referee taking a keen eye on the cut. see at the moment. Okay, it looks like they're letting it go, so um, yeah, it looks safe enough. So it's right between the eyes, yeah. I mean, the skin's quite thin there anyway, so you, you cut it, you're going to bleed. <laughs> Back underway here, three minutes on the clock in round three for the Shokanoa Strawweight Championship. Wilson in the red, Gowan in the blue. Wilson had massive success, but she was able to land that straight right hand. Gowan quite correctly taking that distance away from her, turning this into a grapple fest, foot stomps. Yeah, El Marco Hua style. Very hard to drop down and, and negotiate this takedown here. Yeah, well, it looks like every time she does, you know, the correct reaction from Wilson is to actually split her legs and, and get a, get lower herself, and, and that's the defense really for that. So she's timing it well, um, but again, I mean, the power, see the power Gowan's got, totally pinning position up against the fence. She's controlling this outside position for sure, but she's got to advance. She's got to look to be chasing the takedowns or doing damage with the strikes. At this point in time, she's just driving with the shoulder on the outside position. Wilson fighting with 100%, trying to get the leverage to circle down around. Down looking for the outside trip. Gets the neck caught. Oh, 
Referee asking for some more action up against the cage. Yeah, that's a good call. The separation. Also looking for the team. Got to be careful about it getting caught. Oh, but she gets the top position in the exchange. Outside here now. Can Wilson complete the takedown? Looking for the knee to the body. Overhook though for Gowan. She's got to get the unhook in that exchange. Big knees for Wilson. She's going to get that takedown. Clean boxing work there from Wilson. Double leg, outside position. Completes it. 20 seconds left here in round three for the Amateur Strawweight Championship. Wilson in the top position. Looks like she's going to finish strong, Colin. Yeah, pushing her hips forwards. She can just control this last 10 seconds. It's a, it's a good end to the round. Three rounds in the books for our Women's Shock and Awe Amateur Strawweight Championship. Will it be Wilson or Gowan? It was half fought fight. Wilson with more experience on the books, at least, with 4 1 0. Gowan 2 0. Who will go home with the gold? It's going to be up to the judges' scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have it 29-28. For your winner by unanimous decision, and now your shock and all strawweight champion, in the blue corner, Chloe Cowan! Chloe Gowan gets the nod and the gold will go home to her cabinet. Hard fought fight. She used the wrestling, was a deciding factor in this fight to obtain the gold, Colin. Yeah, as you said, you know, she was driving forward the whole time. Lots of power, pushing in. Um, I mean, she didn't get the takedowns. Um, you know, they were, she, was, she was close to it, but she wasn't getting the takedowns. But she was controlling the fight an element of the fight anyway so um so yeah i mean it's a good win uh, suzanne wilson will be back i'm sure 